Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today is going to be a news and update. So I've got a bunch of stuff, man. I've been wanting to tell you guys about so much stuff that's been going on with me and that's going to be going on with the future of this channel. And um, I guess let's just start it right off with a story about what's going on with the VA. Now this is very fresh news. Some of you that are working in the VA system might not even know yet. But according to what I just heard, the VA is officially going to be migrating over to DEMLs. Yes, DEMLs. All you military biomeds out there, you know exactly what I'm talking about. A lot of you guys are celebrating. Some of you guys are upset. But this is a good move. The government has years worth invested into defense medical logistics standard support. And they've refined this for years. And a lot of us biomeds, we kind of cherished it when it came in because we moved from old systems like Medlog, which were all text-based, like monochrome screen type of systems, into demos, which now is a real CMMS system that had some real support. And it worked. It just worked. I was one of the initiators, uh, one of the first accounts that was getting it, and I helped roll it in. Your first year is going to be horrible. Your first year, that's the only way to put it. Your first year is going to be a lot of work. You're going to have to refine the database. You're going to have to play around with some stuff. You're going to have to alter some of your maintenance schedules and stuff. But once you get it working, man, I'll tell you what, it's going to make you guys' life so much better. And that's why this is news for this channel because a lot of you guys that have been kind of standing off on whether or not uh, a VA position is really worth it, I might be one of them. Um, I know how the VA has been handling a lot of stuff up till now, and they are 20 years in the past. Well, demos came out pretty close to 20 years ago, and guess what? It's being implemented, and good for you guys. You are now moving into the future of a paperless system for real. And I'm telling you guys, it might actually make a job with the VA worth doing. I know they're playing around with the numbers and stuff, and they're always messing with uh, your ratings and your, your pay and stuff, but maybe a move to Demos would make this worth it. It's I mean, Demos was a very usable CMS system. So, that's my first topic for the day. Uh, I wanted to bring up to you guys also that there is an open position currently in Boise, Idaho, and if I could convince my family to uproot one more time, and move out there, Boise, I would be there uh, because Boise is beautiful. And in my opinion, Idaho is beautiful. But um, if you guys are looking, I'm going to leave in the comments below the contact information for the recruiter that wanted to hire me into the position. They're looking for a senior level biomed, somebody that's looking to move into the Boise area and uh, start doing business. So. Boise is a limited biomed career area, so if you guys are looking to maybe move to a very wholesome part of America, uh, this is your chance, man. What an excellent opportunity, in my, my opinion, and I would do it in a heartbeat if I didn't have to have everybody else's opinion on the matter. <laughs> so anyway, that's uh, item number two. Item number three, this is probably the biggest news out of it all. I don't really know what I can tell you and what I can't, but what I can tell you is that I have been working for a long time on setting up a partnership slash future employment with a specific company based out of Dallas, and these guys are real forward thinkers. These guys are not just some tiny little operation. They are organized, they have a vision. And I am very excited because they have proposed to me and I've driven up there, I've toured their facility, and these guys have a real mission. And I am so excited to be part of this. It's going to change my future, it's going to change the future for this channel, and it's going to change the future for this career field. Now that might be a little overshadowing, but I'll tell you what, um, if people have a vision for the future to bring you guys better information about this career field, we all know we can do this better. Hell, today, I watched a video of somebody putting a plug end on a cord. And, and I, what is it about just this stuff that makes me want to nerd out and watch biomed stuff? I don't really know. I, obviously, I love this career field. But I love people that love what they do even more. I'll, I'll watch a video of 
of people tearing down engine blocks. I watch a uh, video of people herding sheep. If they love what they do and they're passionate and they're, they're striving to be one of the best at what they can do, man, I will sit there and watch a YouTube video on it in a heartbeat, especially if I get to learn something. But guys, back to this exciting news. This company and I are in talks about the future and the near future because these guys have a vision of setting up uh, an online school type system and I'm gonna be part of that and I'm, I'm actually very humbled that they they seen my YouTube videos and they want me to help them out uh, in reaching this goal so I'm very very excited about that you can expect that at about the turn of the next year so it's gonna be some good times and if this all comes to fruition it's gonna set up a whole new opportunity for me to set up a new opportunity for you and what I'm saying is there's gonna be some rapid growth here in Texas with this company with me and our mission is just gonna gain in popularity and expanse so quickly that we're gonna have some positions open and at that time I'll let you guys know because I would love to hear from some of you guys that want to sit here and, and work in Houston and in the Texas area in general and it's going to be an amazing opportunity for us all because I love working with all you guys. I, I love meeting new biomeds and I love making wonderful teams. My team right now is excellent. My team back in South Carolina was fantastic. And, you know, I, I just love this one. Biomeds love their job. It's contagious, you know, between people. If, if I love my job and I can inspire just one person, just one of you guys to get out there and uh, just do the best that you can absolutely do then man my mission is is complete so guys I'm, I'm very passionate about this there's gonna be so much blood sweat and tears that are gonna go into this project it's not gonna be funny but at the same time man it's gonna be amazing next year is gonna be something else for you guys and uh, more news to come okay so anyway I, I do have other stories that I want to share with you but I gotta dig up some more details before I spill all the beans and I gotta ask some people if they mind if I can, you know, share some of their news. But anyway, uh, you guys get out there, do the best that you can do, love your craft, and, and please, if you guys have some cool stuff to share, make a video about it and, and post it. Like, go ahead and post it in the comments on this one, man. I love watching you guys' videos. So, please, I, it, I love watching just videos in general. So, if you guys are doing some real cool stuff maybe an install deinstall catching something on fire why not I caught I didn't catch it on fire but I had a negative 80 degree freezer catch on fire this week ruined my day guys if I look like I'm tired I know I don't act like it I'm tired because I had to answer so many emails and so many questions of whether or not it was my fault your fault anybody's fault well guess what that happened about a week ago and they just found out today negative 80 degree freezer Two hundred thousand dollars in losses. Ooh, the biggest loss of my career happened today, and I know I don't act like it, but I'll tell you, what, I was dragging all day because, you know, we always strive to try and prevent these kind of losses because it's not so much about losing money for the hospital. To lose human tissue like that—that's a, a tragic loss for the patients that were waiting for that for a case, and that's where it really hurts. Is that somewhere down the line, all the things just fell apart and. Uh, we had a, a catastrophic loss but I'm gonna do better tomorrow I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna have the same energy going into the job as I did this morning before I knew about this tragic loss and I hope you guys do too man these setbacks are gonna happen just gotta march on past them learn from it I know me and my team learned from today I'm trying to teach people when you have these kind of losses document the loss entirely and I let everybody know I even let my manager know my directors I let all those people know that I was the last person to touch the last two work orders. If they want to fault me for something, please do, because maybe I earned it. But at the same time, I want everybody to be as formed as possible when making future decisions, given it was over a 10-year-old freezer with $200,000 worth of contents. But that doesn't matter because we're going to do better, and they're going to do better, and we vowed. It doesn't matter whose fault it is. It doesn't matter. We are all going to do better for the patients. And that's all that matters, right guys? This video is long enough. You guys have a wonderful evening and thanks for watching.